Hi, my name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com, and I host on the Rinse Radio Network. Get used to the uh, phrase domestic terrorism, right? International terrorism, the notion that we've got to cr- travel across the world and destabilize nations, that's what we've been sold over the last decade. But a year ago, Eric Holder told the people of this country what keeps him up at night is domestic terrorism, more so than international terrorism. Events like Boston, where we have a lockdown of a city, martial law declared on Boston because of the uh, bombers of the Boston Marathon, or the floating of information like there might be drones flying around this country. Sure, it steals your individual freedom, uh, but it's sold to the American people as a good idea because it's keeping us safe from domestic terrorists. Now we have Paul Ciencia, CIA in CIA, going into the LAX airport and uh, shooting a TSA official before he's taken into custody. And of course, almost immediately, within minutes of his apprehension, the establishment media is told that through an unnamed uh, condition of anonymity law enforcement official that this guy is in the Patriot Movement. They found a manifesto. It says he's anti-government, anti-New World Order, anti-international banker, anti-fiat currency. You better understand that standing up for yourself now in this country is tantamount to being a domestic terrorist. The very following day, Forbes comes out with an article breaking down exactly what a domestic terrorist looks like. Starting off with, he's a pissed off patriot. Somebody who takes the word patriot, which Forbes claims mean loyal and courageous, and twists it to cover their activities, uh, be it speaking out or violent. And of course, they got to have a manifesto say, claiming, uh, saying why they're doing what they're doing. So anybody who writes down their anti-government views, that might as well be considered a manifesto, and they potentially could be a domestic terrorist. They list the fact that if a person wears fatigues, they want to feel like they're part of some kind of military action and be seen as a hero. And let's not forget, Forbes will break down that if they're packing the right kind of firearm, it puts them into the category of a domestic terrorist. In this case, an AR-15, saying an AR-15 is a badge of honor for the Patriot Movement because a decade started in 1994, it was illegal for Americans to own this gun. And, of course, if they bring into uh, the argument fiat currency, the NW, uh, New World Order, uh, or any other of the so-called alleged conspiracy theories that we know to be absolute facts, then you fall into the category of domestic terrorists. But it doesn't stop there. We just posted a story last Friday on WideAwakeNews.com that shows there's over 72 uh, types of individuals that the government considers to be domestic terrorists. If you believe in individual liberties, states' rights, the patriot movement, opposed to the NWO, bumper stickers with patriotic or uh, anti-UN slogans, if you are anti-globalist, if you are suspicious of the centralized power of the federal government, if you're reverent to individual freedoms, uh, if you are a believer in the right to bear arms, these are just a few. You see, we are transitioning from this point of looking abroad, looking around the world for terrorism, to looking at individuals in this country who do not like the path that we are on because we realize it's an unsustainable path. We're on unsustainable paths when it comes to our military endeavors expanding uh, empire. We're on an unsustainable path financially spending money that we don't have. We're on an unsustainable path when we allow special interests to dominate and write laws that govern this nation. This will be the path forward. Anything and everything that happens that has a tinge of patriot truth, freedom movement uh, to it will be labeled as a domestic terrorist event. And once you are a terrorist, you give up any constitutional rights that you must have. Understand this is the path we are going. Stories are attached. That's all I got.